I'm Jefferson Graham with USA Today here in San Francisco, where finding public transportation is relatively easy. I mean, you can ride up a hill in a cable car like this, or catch a bus across town, or go across the bay on BART. But what is tough? Finding an available cab when you want it. What if you could call for your own personal driver just by going like this? Meet Uber, a San Francisco taxi alternative that lets folks ride in style for a hefty price. What we're doing is we are taking something that it used to be old and rich and we're making it modern and hip. And part of that is because the transportation options in most urban settings are actually quite poor. So there, you know, if you talk to people, whether it be in San Francisco or you know, in New York, like, especially like Brooklyn, uh, Chicago, or just go to any major city and talk to people about how hard it is to get a taxi. Here's how it works. You download the free app, register, Put in your credit card information, and when you're ready, tell Uber to come get you. Uber contacts the driver closest to you and promises that you'll be picked up within about five minutes. You don't exchange cash. You don't offer a tip. It's all taken care of via the app. So the average taxi, uh, the average taxi for instance, is going to be about 12 or 13 bucks. The average Uber fare is about 25. From San Francisco, Uber looks to expand to other cities this year, starting with New York. And even though it's a pricey alternative. I mean, the response is great. So we've been out seven, eight months uh, in the city. Um, we're already multi-million dollars in revenue. Um, and it's taken off. It's just captured people's imagination to be able to push a button, to live in the future, to basically push a button and in five minutes a car arrives. And you can see that car coming to you on your iPhone screen. The idea of a personal driver goes against the grain of green transportation. Get the masses out of cars and onto public transportation. But Kalanick says Uber is helping in its own way. Can, we can make sure that more and more cars are hybrids, and we can make sure that those cars can handle you know, three or four people. Um, I think that's probably the best we can do at this point. I want to live in the future where I can snap my fingers and instantly be teleported somewhere, but we're still not, that future hasn't come yet. And I think um, you know, Uber sort of provides a, a nice option or a nice alternative to get around the city. Reporting from San Francisco, this is Jefferson Graham, USA Today.